Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Wet Shaving with Angelo. Yet again, no shave, to, not a shave video today because I just finished shaving a, a few minutes ago. I was tagged by Elmer Fudd to do a, to a top list of what of shaving. Or phrase it. I was tied. I was tagged by Elmer Fudd on YouTube here to do a top five video of the, my, my top five favorite springtime scented shave soaps. And, I, and it took me quite a while to think about. Because I have quite a lot of shave soaps, and many of them would qualify as a spring-scented soap. So I narrowed it down to my top five, and I'm going to do a rundown of them right now. In fifth place, Chella. Chella is in a very, is a, as, we, as those of you who don't know, it's a very old brand of shave soap and shaving products. Dating all the way back to 1899 in Italy. And the scent on this... Even though they advertise it as an almond scented soap, there is a heavy dose of cherry scents in there, and it's just, I love the I love the fruity cherry scent in this soap. It's not so I can use this and not be worried about offending anyone, or just have a nice springtime scent. To me, Chella is a really good is one of those good spring summertime scents with the fruit with the cherry base notes in it. So that's number five. Number four. Is a new addition to my shave den. Crabtree and Evelyn's West Indian Lime. I recently got a hold of a, of a newly produced Crabtree and Evelyn shave soap, West Indian Lime. And I've been curious about their soaps. And now, just for everyone's information, all the soaps I list here, not only do they smell great, but they also perform very well. This is just from my own personal experience. Like, I picked soaps that not only had a great performance, but smelled like springtime. So, first qualifier was it had to perform and lather very well. Second qualifier had to be a springtime scent that I liked. And it was back to Crabtree and Evelyn's West Indian Lime. The, the, from why I, from my read in the advertisement, there's a mixture of lime, ginger, and vetiver. And this is just one of my favorite lime-scented soaps I have in my collection. Just a lovely, lovely lime scent. Lime is very front and center, obviously. So, for my fourth place, I would say Crabtree and Evelyn's West Indian Lime. Just be careful when you buy Crabtree and Evelyn shave soaps. Like, make sure you get one of the more recent formulations, because it's gone, because it has gone under a lot of reformulations. Some were good, some were bad. So you have to know what you're buying. I was lucky to get a modern formulation that worked really good. So num that's number four. Number three, Razor Rock's Emperor. This is Razor Rock's take on a much more expensive fragrance from Creed. Phrase it. This is Razor Rock's Razor Rock Emperor's. So let me start that over. Razor Rock Emperor is their take on Creed Adventus, which is a very expensive. A Cologne and aftershave. And to my nose, my smell the soup, the things that jump in front of me the most is pineapple and bergamot. A very pleasing scent indeed. And you can get, and this, the Razor Rock Emperor, you can get on Italian Barber for $10. Not a bad price at all for a great shave soap with a great scent. On, on the tub, it says it's a masterful blend of pineapple, bergamot, black pepper, smoke, and leather. I'm not sure about the letter in smoke, but I do to detect bergamot and pineapple. And to me, pineapple is a really good s springtime scent. That's number three. Number two. Now, this is an older formulation of PA back when they hit, phrase it. P, number two, Phoenix Shavings at two. Now, I know it says on here Crown King and Limited. This was back when Phoenix Arsenal and Accoutrements had two brands of soaps on their line. The Crown King line and the PAA line. And for those that are wondering why I picked this, Et 2 is basically Douglas Mice's take on the original formulation of, of Brut. And I like wearing Brut in the springtime because it's a very green scent, very herbaceous, perfect for springtime weather in my opinion. As long as you do it in moderation, obviously. Because sometimes you can't overdo Brute uh, if you put too much of it. But this is just a lovely springtime masculine scent that goes well with anything. So number two, 
Phoenix Arsenal Accoutrements is at two. Their take on Original Brute. And my number one favorite springtime scented soap. And and I'll, and also one of my more pricier ones. Martin de Condre's Agrooms. This is a very potent lemon, lemony, citrusy scented soap. I mean, when I smell it, I smell the citrus, I smell the lemon lime. It just hits you in the face with lemon in a pleasant way. And to me, this soap has a what I what I would like to call a happy scent. Or a happy fragrance. Like when I think of springtime scents, I usually think of happy I usually think of fragrances or scent lines that would make me happy. And Martin de Condra's A Grooms is a, has a very happy, very springtime scent. And it's just a it's an, it's a, obviously because it's the MDC line, it's an, it's all, it's going to lather super easy. Like I've never had problems lathering in a Martin de Condra shave soap. And actually I found the, our groom's shave soap last year on West Coast Shavings clearance sale in their clearance section. And I got it at a really discounted price. So those are my top five springtime shave soaps on my list. Now I'm going to tag three people. The three people I'm going to tag, Rich Hansen of Rich Man Shaving, um, who, who else? IMCDB, and one more. Let's see here. Who else should I tag? And I'll tag Rudge Shaves. So it's Rich Hansen of Rich Man Shaving, or Shaving with Rich, I should say, IMCDB. And Rudd's shaves are the three I tag. Have a good day. Have a good shave, everyone.